Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the use of the aggregate function in SPSS. This can be very helpful when you are performing multi-level analysis where you might be interested in aggregating data from a lower level to a higher level and then using that higher level variable as a contextual variable when predicting a lower level outcome. So here we have data that uh, was taken from this uh, site right here. We have uh, the data sets that are given, so you can actually download them. Uh, the book uh, is Multi-Level and Longitudinal Modeling with IBM SPSS. Um, and the data is basically uh, student-level data. So we have each row would reflect a different student uh, with those students being nested within different schools. So you can see that the test one, test two, test three variable, basically all of the variables in the data set are all operating at level one. Um, and what we're going to do, though, is to take the individual SES variable associated with the students within their respective schools and aggregate it up to uh, the school level and basically compute school means so that we will have another, uh, basically an additional variable added to the data set that reflects the school means. So to do this, what we're going to do is go over to data, go down to aggregate, and I'm going to reset this, make sure it's uh, set up here. And now we're going to move the school code variable, that's the level 2 identifier, over to the break variables box. And we're going to move SES over to the summaries of variables box. And you can see by default, it's going to generate the mean uh, associated with the different schools. Uh, if you click under function, if there were other types of summary um, uh, information, that you would want associated with the schools, you could certainly generate that as well. But most of the time, uh, when we are aggregating, we're going to be creating means out of the individual level data. So we're going to leave that as is and click on OK. And so now you can see that we have a new variable that's added to our data set, which is the school mean. So basically, the negative 0.27 right here is the school mean for SES for those individuals uh, uh, in our data set coming from school one. The 0.68s that you see right here are uh, the school mean SES associated with students in our data set that are coming from school two and so forth. Now let's say that instead of just simply adding a variable to the data set, let's say we wanted to uh, export the uh, aggregated data to a different data file. Uh, and that can be handy if you're trying to uh, generate uh, you know, various summary statistics at a higher level. So I'll show you how to do that. If we go over to data, then go down to aggregate again. Now you'll notice that by default we have save set up. It says add aggregated data, aggregated variables to the active data set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on create a new data set containing only the aggregated variables. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to uh, click right here. And for data set name, I'll just, uh, I'll just call it data set uh, 2. Um, it doesn't have to be anything in particular, but that's what I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to click on OK. And so now you'll see um, that uh, essentially a new data set has been created. Uh, the actual name of the data set, uh, data set 2, is appearing right here. So that's what, this is what's um, been created with that aggregate command. So if you want to save it, you can still save it, but you'll probably need to uh, save it under uh, a new name right here. So you'll see that we have the school code variable and then SES mean. And then if I wanted, say, the average of the school means for socioeconomic status, then I can easily generate that as well, uh, just going under you know descriptive statistics and then... Uh, move that over and then click on OK. And so now you can see that we have uh, descriptive statistics down here associated with the school. So I have the means and standard deviation. So that can be a handy option in those cases where you want to uh, be able to generate descriptive statistics uh, at a higher level for the aggregated variables. So at any rate, that uh, covers this demonstration, and thanks for watching.